Hey everybody, Claire here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make, honestly, my new favorite thing. I'm obsessed with this frosting. So this video is technically for the whole cake, but I'm using as my base a sponge cake that I actually already showed you guys how to make. So it's just a classic, simple sponge. You can use any recipe you like, or you can use mine. But yeah, so I have uh, two layers that I then sliced into halves, so technically four thin layers. And then I also have some salted caramel, about a cup that I'm gonna use. But otherwise, this is all about the pistachio Italian buttercream that I am making. I have five egg whites, a small pinch of cream of tartar, about a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. I have a quarter cup of pistachio paste. This is where the flavor is coming from. So I found a really good one online and I'll put the details in the description below. But basically this is one of those use the best you can find situations. I then have two thirds of a cup of water, one cup of sugar, and then a pound of butter. So what I'm first going to do is make a simple syrup with my sugar and water. I'm gonna whip up the eggs and kind of create a meringue and then add butter to it and then add the pistachio to it and that's gonna create my amazing frosting. All right, well, let's get started. So my first step is going to be making my syrup. So I'm just gonna combine the sugar and then water and I'm gonna let this come to a boil and I basically want it to reach about 238 degrees. So I need it to become a very dense syrup. So while my syrup is coming together, I'm actually gonna get started on my egg whites. So it's really important that your egg whites are room temperature because it just means they're gonna whip up a lot faster. So I have five egg whites going in. So I added cream of tartar and salt to this. So now I'm just going to whip it up until I get pretty much soft peaks. I don't wanna over whip it at this stage. So my egg whites are done and they look nice and stiff. So now I'm gonna pour the syrup into them while they are whipping. So basically what I wanted to have are really stiff, white, glossy peaks. Yeah, it looks good. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is gonna sound kind of funny. I'm going to add the butter bit by bit. I'm just gonna use spoons and just kind of put a little bit at a time. And what's gonna happen is it's going to whip into the egg white mixture, the meringue, and at one point it's going to look like soup. It's gonna look real sad. But when you continue to whip it and you keep adding butter, there's a point where it actually starts coming back together. So my frosting is done, except for the most important ingredient, which is the pistachio paste. I'm just gonna add this to the icing and then whip it together. This is an exciting thing. All right, I'm gonna take a taste. Mm, so delicious. This is like my favorite thing in the world. All right, so now it's time to start decorating the cake. And this is pretty simple. It's kind of like how you would decorate almost any cake. Um, what we're doing is I'm using my offset spatula, which I'm obsessed with. I'm gonna do just a tiny bit between each layer and then coat the entire thing. I'm also adding the salted caramel. Time for layer numero dos. And now I'm just gonna repeat the process until I'm done with all the layers and I'm gonna start working on the outside. We're now on the top layer, which means I'm gonna ice the rest of the cake. So I'm gonna start piling on quite a bit of the frosting. And this is gonna act as, well, basically my top layer, but also my crumb coat. And you can see on this lovely, lovely sponge cake that it does get a little crummy on the sides. So you wanna do basically a coating that's super thin and it basically collects all of those crumbs so it doesn't get in the rest of the frosting. So now I'm gonna add the rest of the frosting on top. I'm gonna use that to coat the entire cake. So I'm not gonna be too fussy about the way the cake looks right now because I still have to add the caramel sauce and I have to add the pistachios on the side. So first I'm just gonna do a good helping of the caramel on top. And now I'm just gonna press pistachios into the side. And you wanna do this gently because you don't wanna get tons of frosting all over your hands. So it's okay if you kind of have way too many and they fall to the side. The pistachio cake is done. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited about this. But here is the rub. I am actually making this for my Aunt Tina's birthday party. So I don't get to have a slice now, but I have, we'll have one later. But I can tell you, this is a delicious cake. I made it the other day when I was practicing for the blog and I love it. So if it is hot outside, you definitely wanna keep it in the fridge because the icing and frosting does kind of react to temperature. But other than that, it is silky, it is delicious, and I am putting it in my cake carrier. By the way, if you don't have a vintage cake carrier, like 
get on it. This is my favorite thing in the world. They're so cute and they are so helpful. It makes your cake portable, I love it. All right, well thank you so much guys and I hope you enjoyed learning how to make one of my favorite frostings and cakes, the pistachio cake. And please, as always, post in the comments what type of videos you guys wanna see and I'll talk to you later, bye.